I'm Paul Mirabel. I'm an executive director with National Home Doctor Service, uh, but I also sit on a number of other healthcare boards, uh, including Sun Doctors, which is a network of skin cancer clinics, and a, a health information company called HealthShare. The funny accent you're hearing is a Canadian accent. Uh, I started life as a lawyer. Uh, I practiced four years in Canada and did an MBA at the University of Western Ontario, uh, which brought me down to Australia. And I've been, uh, I've been here basically since about 1988. Uh, I spent 12 years uh, with the Boston Consulting Group, and then I left to actually join a client organization which is in telecommunications back in Canada. So I was there for three years, and then uh, actually had an opportunity to come back here where I ran my first healthcare company. Following from that, I had an opportunity to step back into more board level roles uh, with a, a number of companies here, but primarily National Home Doctor Service. The relevance of strategy is all linked back to what you do on Monday as distinct from Friday. And what do I mean by that is this. Any organization, be it large or medium in size or, or small or a startup, they have to have a view about what they are trying to achieve over some sort of future time frame. And I think, you know, if I think about the time frames that we talk about, strategy used to be talked about in terms of a 10-year time frame. I think very few competitive environments allow you to look forward that far. Um, and everyone will have their own view, but my view it's probably a three to five year time frame in terms of sorting out where it is that you want to get to and then backwards solving in terms of what you have to do to, to achieve that. That then needs to get translated though into what are you gonna do this year? And if you have formalized budgeting processes in place, then effectively the budget represents the first year of that three-year plan. Now the three-year plan may change. Uh, your environment will change, the competition will change. Um, so it's a, it's a living document, but you're always working with at least you know, a two to three year time frame from where you are today in terms of what you're trying to achieve. And to that extent, any part of an organization, be it marketing, be it production, be it sales, be it HR, they all have objectives that they're trying to meet. Some are long-term, some are short-term, and they should all fit together within that strategic framework. And to that extent, I think it's very relevant for all aspects of the organization. You know, we used to refer to this as, you know, and it's not a term that, that, that I came up with, but the three horizons of, of planning. You know, you'd have the first year of planning, uh, which would be associated with the budget, and then a second year, or which might take you two to three years, and then a long-term horizon, which is looking out beyond that, but where you think you might be able to achieve. And all those three are actually interrelated, and they're providing you with a sense in terms of what you think you're going to achieve, and then a basis to measure that against. Uh, and invariably, you won't, you won't achieve everything you set up to do. But if you have a view in terms of what that plan should look like, and you're, you're pragmatically measuring performance against that, you'll see where you're drifting or where you're overperforming, and you can recalibrate your, your plan as a process.